All right, this is section 2.2, and this is all about the difference quotient. So I can ask you to show me to find the difference quotient of a function, okay? And that's when we're going to take f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, okay? So you're going to be given f of x, okay? I have to give you the function. Then you're going to need to find f of x plus h, okay? That's gonna be your first step is to find this guy. And then you're going to subtract it from f of x, and then you're going to divide it by h, okay? So it's gonna be a lot of steps. These are gonna be kind of long, okay? But they follow the same routine each time. Okay, so let's see. So we have if f of x is 3x squared plus 5x plus x plus 5, then find and simplify f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, okay? So first, let's find f of x plus h, okay? Because we this is just a letter, so we're good. We don't have to find anything with that. We have f of x, right? We don't have this piece. Okay, so let's find it. f of x, whoops. f of x plus h, okay? So our original function is here. Okay, and so wherever there is an x, we're gonna put parentheses. Okay, and we're gonna plug in x plus h. All right, so we need to find this, I'm trying to, here we go. Let's find this. Let's go over to the side and say x plus h squared. So we have x plus h times x plus h. So we're just going to FOIL this guy. So we have x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared. Okay, I did first, outside, inside last, okay? When I went here, I got x times h, and when I went here, I got h times x, okay? And I wrote them both as xh, okay? It doesn't matter. We are multiplying. Those are still the same thing, okay? Write them as the same thing. Then you have like terms. So you have x squared plus you have here is one xh, and here's another. So you have two xh plus h squared. So let's rewrite that with our purple. Plus x plus h plus five. Okay, now we need to distribute that three. So we get three x squared plus six x h plus three h squared plus x plus h plus Five. All right. You're probably thinking, okay, there's got to be some like terms that we can add together because that's a really long line of things. There's actually not any like terms, okay? Like terms have to be exactly the same. Okay, we have an x squared term. This is just an x. This one has an h on it. This is just an h. This is xh. This is h squared. Okay, we can't simplify that any further, okay? So that piece is f of x plus h, okay? So, and I'm gonna highlight that for you guys and I'll highlight it in, again in a second to show you where it came from. So now let's find, so here we found, so find f of x plus h. Once you do that, now we need to find f of x plus h 
minus f of x, okay? Which is our entire numerator. f of x plus h minus f of x is our whole numerator. That's what we're about to find. Okay, so we have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus x plus h plus 5. That's all f of x plus h that we found in the previous step. Minus f of x, okay? We're given f of x. It's our original function, okay? Here's f of x. So it's 3x squared plus x plus 5. All right, so now, if you look, here's a negative. So we're gonna have to distribute this negative through, right? So that means that each sign is going to switch, okay? When we distribute this negative, every single sign inside my parentheses is going to switch. If it's positive, it's gonna be negative. If it's negative, it's gonna be positive. So here we get a negative, a negative, and a negative, right? And that was us distributing our negative three. Okay, I'll leave the arrows there. All right, so now look at what just happened with all of our stuff over here. Okay, so we have three X squared minus three X squared. Okay, so those added to zero. Then we have an X, we have a positive X minus X. Those add to zero. And we have a five minus five. That gives us zero also. So we are just left with six xh plus three h squared plus h. Okay. That is f of x plus h minus f of x. Our last step. Is we need to find the whole thing. So now we're gonna find f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, okay? We have the numerator, we just found it, right? Here it is. We just found this and it was this piece right here. So we're gonna do six xh plus three h squared plus h all over h. All right, because we're over one thing, what do I mean by that? Because we are dividing by just H, we can split this up. Like this, and then we just need to simplify, okay? So here, get the right pen. Our H is divided to one. We have H squared over H. That gives us one H up top. And these divide to one. So we're left with six X plus three H plus one. And that's our answer. Okay, that is the difference quotient. So basically what we did was we found this, but we broke it down into three steps. We first found F of X plus H. Then we found our whole numerator. Then we divided it by H, okay? And those steps are here, here, and here, okay? And I said I was gonna highlight that, okay? So we just broke it down into different steps, okay? Let's do it again. Here we have X squared, minus seven X plus three, that's F of X. And we need to find the difference quotient. All right, if you wanna pause and try it by yourself, that's probably a good idea. All right, but I'm gonna go through the explanation of it. So let's find F of X plus H first. And we get F of X plus H is equal to, we're going to plug in parentheses. Uh, yeah. We're going to plug in parentheses for our X.
inside those parentheses, we're going to put x plus h. Okay. Now we're just going to simplify like we normally do. Okay. Again, x plus h over here squared is x plus h times x plus h. We get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay. So we plug in the blue. Then we're going to distribute our negative seven to get our purple, which is negative seven X minus seven H plus three. Okay, again, on this step, you should have a long row of variables and numbers, okay? You're not gonna have any like terms on this first step, okay? So now let's find the whole numerator, so f of x plus h minus f of x, and you get f of x plus h minus f of x, okay? We got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 7x minus 7h plus 3, okay? That was in our previous step. Put that in parentheses minus whatever f of x was, x squared minus 7x plus three, okay? We were given that in our problem. Now, here's our negative and we need to distribute it through. Whenever we do that, we switch our signs, okay? So this one, x squared is positive, we make it negative. Seven x is negative, we make it positive. Three is positive, we make it negative, okay? When that happens, we have some cancellations here. Okay, notice how everything that doesn't have an H in it added to zero. We got to cross it out, okay? This has an H and an H and an H and it did not get crossed out, okay? That's not a coincidence. It's gonna happen every single time. If it doesn't have an H in it, it will get canceled out, okay? So we are left with 2xh plus h squared minus 7h. And that is our whole numerator. Now we need to divide it by h. So we're going to do the whole thing. And we're going to split those up, remember? So we have 2xh over h plus h squared over h minus 7h over h. Okay, and then we get to those divide to one. We have h squared over h. So that means that we have one h in the numerator and our h is divide to one and we're left with two x plus h minus seven. As our answer. Okay, so here there's just a lot of places where you can miss a negative and all of those things, but you should be able to catch yourself whenever you do that because you know that you should have a big long list of variables and numbers here with no like terms. Whenever you're doing the whole numerator, you know that if it has an H in it, it should not cancel. Okay, our H's don't cancel, but everything that doesn't have an H, these three will always cancel, will always add to zero with f of x because we have to distribute our negative through, okay? And then remember to split it up and divide your h's out, okay? Now, piecewise functions. I know that these can look very intimidating. You're thinking, no way I can do this. They're actually not that bad, okay? So this is saying, if x, let's read it this way f of x, right, equals this guy. It's saying if x is less than zero, then we're going to say x cubed plus three, x squared plus three, my fault. If x is greater than or equal to zero, we're gonna use five x plus three, okay? That's all it's saying. 
So f of negative five, right? F of negative five, you need to, this is your x. Sorry, here we go. F of x, x is negative five. So you need to go up here and you need to look. Is, you need to say, all right, so negative five is less than zero. So we use x squared plus three. So we use x squared plus three. X is negative five. We get 25 plus three and it's equal to 28. And you're done, that's it, okay? F of six, okay? You need to go up here and you need to figure out which one you're gonna use. Six is greater than zero, obviously. So you're gonna use five X plus three. So you're gonna say five times six plus three, which is 30 plus three, which is 33. Okay, F of zero. Okay, well, go up here and look to see which one you're gonna use. You have X is greater than or equal to zero. In this case, your X is equal to zero. So you again use five X plus three and you get three. Okay, so on piecewise functions, you're gonna have to look at whatever your X is and then if it's one of these, you need to see which one it is. And that's the one that you plug in the value to. Okay, so I can do some highlighting here. And I'm gonna just underline it. Okay, again, this one would be greater than, and so with this one, because it's equal to, okay. So that is piecewise functions. So I can give you a little note here. For every X, you will get one value. Okay, do not plug into the top and the bottom. Okay. So you're not gonna plug in F of negative five to X squared plus three and five X plus three and get two different values. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Okay, because that wouldn't even be a function, right? So this is a very important piece for you to remember. Whenever you're working these, okay?